want me back Can't bet up the time, but we now I want We rep the West, C-O-A-S-T No other place I'd rather be now, nigga, listen to this beat Turn it on the heat, wait, it must be back Can't bet up the time, but we now I want We rep the West, C-O-A-S-T No other place I'd rather be now, nigga, listen to this beat What's up with what's what's up with Paul on the dime? Nah, what's up with Dub Twenty <laughs> Drug, buddy, man? <laughs> you feel me? Ain't yeah. shit, man. Over here, tired and thirsty and hungry, but I'm gonna be all right. Hmm. Man, facts. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie though, man. I get to cheat a little bit, but you ain't really cheating because you know, nigga got right. diabetes, so that illness. You feel me? Right. You get to wiggle around, right? but I still like, even though I still keep my fast though, just to have the discipline, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the idea. Lie, yeah. You get too heavy and you got to do what you got to do, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, multiple my brothers, man, and moms, they like, yeah, don't do that, man. You got to take care right. of yourself, dog. Got to. Right. That's, that's, that's that. first. Got to take care of yourself, bro. Yeah. You know what been doing? yeah. This beautiful day out here. The fuck it is today, man. Yeah. Cinco de Mayo. Thank ass all the day. Cinco de Mayo, man. Cinco de Mayo and I ain't doing that Cinco thing. Mm. You know what's hella crazy though is like, I be hollering at some of my cousins in Mexico and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people didn't know nigga was half Mexican, man, but them niggas in Mexico don't even celebrate that shit. That's like some American, like, you feel mm -hmm. me, holiday to them, like, you know what I mean? But Regardless manufacture. of all that shit. That's, you know that's how it's manufactured, man. Yeah. The pagan holiday. Man, for whatever it is, right. happy Cinco de Mayo to everybody celebrating. You know what I'm saying? If you out in the traffic, be safe. You know what I mean? Be cool. Remember, we yeah. do got that shit going around. You know what I'm saying? Everybody think we out the woods yet, man. You better remember. Right. <laughs> but they got that second dose on us. Hmm. Uh, you, know that, you know that second dose is always stronger. Bro, was we talking about that shit about two or three months ago? Mm -hmm. I was like, wait till they drop that next batch, though. Me, you, and Tyree sitting there blowing. Man, and Roy was talking yeah. about that shit. That was real facts. Everything a nigga said comes into fruition, though. That's, man. That's scary. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, in one aspect, but at the same time, it make you feel like, damn, you know what I'm saying? You, you thinking the right way, bro. You know what I'm saying? Listen what to you think of what you think about these UFOs, though? They letting loose now. Mm. What if that? Yeah. What if that's all this? What if that's? What if all this five G shit got to do with all that, man? And UFOs and, and robots and and all this shit they got going, man. You know what I mean? They just popping know. up now. Now they letting UFO sightings and shit out, even though we've been seeing them. Anything is possible, bro. I don't put it. I think that shit for show being in order though. They been about the uh, UFO type shit. You know what I'm saying? They, man, yeah. bro. Why you think they just telling us now though? Like they've officially saying, right? That's why what I'm now? Saying, like all, why like, right, right now? Now, while we got all this shit going. Yeah. Why? Like, oh, you know what? By the way, UFOs be out here too. Yeah. Just I, and yeah. that's distraction, bro. They trying to keep us distracted, I guess. Bro. <laughs> right. That's a weird. Hey, but did you know this though? Tweet though. They always give you a heads up in these movies. Niggas be thinking it's so sci-fi. Man, man, if they put that shit in that movie, they already got it, bro. Oof, they yeah, got we, that shit we, in these action movies where it's like motherfucking secret spies and all that. We, man, they got that we, shit, dog. We, we ain't saying they ain't got it. We said, why the fuck is they telling us now? Right. Why 5G out? Dad COVID out. Guess Dad what? Dad more through that, that's shit. That's what else now. they let out. Guess what else they let out, nigga? Giant Hornets from Asia. <laughs> That's that plan. You know what's crazy, though? I ain't yeah. going to lie, yeah. Nigga, they been talking about them motherfuckers for about a year I, and a half. I, I, I know they been talking about them. And, and, but, but I'm you saying right. all of a sudden, they, let them they loose, out. Sir. Right. So you they let them loose, though. How the motherfuckers flew all the way from nigga from Asia? Asia? Here. Right. Like, baby, motherfucker, like, you know what? We just finna go to America real quick hmm. and just eat some bees. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's crazy. Stop you it. know what I'm saying? All this shit all at once. I was watching that shit the other night. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm chilling up. You feel me? Right. And uh, somebody showed me some fucking killer bees, bro. And them niggas, it was literally 20 of them, bro. And they hit a whole hive. 
and knock like 20,000 of them niggas down. Bro, they the say they can eat 30,000 an hour, hour though, bro. I'm talking about right. they was just hitting them, boom, like pitching and throwing them on the floor like, nigga, yeah. <laughs> them niggas got up in there and took all the children. Said that bro. the children give like a special kind of like, like an oint, a ointment or lubricant to like the queen or something, like a pleasant, some shit, bro. That was crazy. I was like, and them niggas was getting hit by like four or five bees at a time. That shit didn't do nothing. Nah. They took yeah. it on the chin like. Hell yeah, that's like, a, that's like if a giant come down right here right now and be in front of us, nigga. T-5-4-5. Bit, 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 bit. He ain't gonna be able to do shit, so you know. That's, that's fucked crazy. up, man. We we need the bees, though. We do. Yeah, they pollinate everything. You know what I mean, we need we need the bees, man. We need the bees, man. So whoever they let pollinate the pollinate the flowers, out. the flowers give out the oxygen. There you go. Adult school. Huh. Hey, you seen what that motherfuckers look like, though? Nigga, yeah, hell bro. yeah, nigga. Like, like I forgot what what Marvel movie that is, nigga. Is it Ant Man or something? Yeah, man. That look like Ant Man, but yellow, nigga. Man. Yeah. Dumb bro. Wow. And the cold shit though is when they showed it, they showed it in a slow, the slow motion. Like you feel me? So you could actually see what's happening though. I'm talking. But the bees weren't no suckers though. They was trying to hit, like. They was trying to go look in. At him. You feel me? Would you let would you let that sting you for a few bands? Fuck nah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I could get a few bands without the nigga stinging me, nigga. They could keep that right. shit. Hey, let that nigga sting you one time, cuz. Man, I'm not letting that nigga do anything close to my <laughs> radius involving myself and my skin and that nigga stinger at all. One time, one time I was a little nigga, man. I threw hella uh, uh, rocks and shit out of Beehive. Boy, they fucked me up. My brother got hit. The, my brother got the real way. in his shirt. Like five of them. They was tearing his ass up. I was hella laughing at him and shit. I that shit is way. just I fucked up. I didn't know that what That shit is just them kids. Right. That's how you know, Barry is though. She ready right. to touch something. Like, if uh. you tell her don't touch it, nigga, it's just, oh. it's almost like she got to hold her other hand not to touch that motherfucker though, man. Guaranteed it. As <clears throat> soon as you I'll say don't like, touch damn. it, you know, it be like, don't touch it? So soon that, as you say that, it's Isn't that dope? <laughs> <All right. But laughs> she's so cold though, we over at the love. We doing our little social distance practicing shit. You know what I'm saying? I take on a nice little nature walk. And we looking like at the little bay water and she went like, I'm gonna sit up here. I'm like, okay, I'm pressed up against her. You feel me? Like, like, all right. So I just knew her being her, she gonna do something extra. Like, so now she wanna do the Titanic, nigga, and got her arms out like this over the shit. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> nigga almost gave a nigga a heart attack like a split second before I'm I'm lucky I'm already she against my chest, but she the type, bro. She she cavalier, dog. Kids are cavalier, period. They not scared wow. to tell you the real nigga. They not scared to act completely main. Mm -hmm. You know nah. what I'm saying? You fearless when you're a kid, man. You don't start getting scared and shit till you get old. Thanks. The real scared, you know what I mean? You fearless when you're a kid. Like you, you be like, you know what? I think I could ride this bike and jump off this roof and land on the wheels. You feel me? You think shit like that when you're a kid. And really be, and really not. You and really do like it. that when you a fucking teenager. And that's when them <laughs> niggas is ultra dangerous, though. Mm -hmm. Still a kid. That's how we just took an A for shrooms, man. Jump off the fucking roof, man. Good, man. We could land on the tricycle, dude. <laughs> like, right, man. What? You thought that was smart, huh? Hey, with niggas like this, that's it was awesome when you start we sipping were, that Hennessy. That's when niggas get to get, you feel me? We was a different Hell breed, yeah. though, when we was kids. It was a different, it was a different breed back then. We was stunt man when we was a kid. Boy, I was Stand jumping off all type of shit. How y'all feel about this, this, this quarantine shit, bro? How would y'all, if we was quarantined, we was kids, bro, it would have been a different story. Oh, what insane. You, what you think the effects on the kids going to be long term about this, uh, this quarantine shit? Because it's going to do something. I don't know, bro, because in reality, like, it go both ways because when we were young, we didn't have access to all this shit. A lot of these little motherfuckers, now they just want to stay in the house. And that goes to parents not really pushing them to be out. They don't really give a fuck. The video games like or the internet, all that shit, like a babysitter to them. You know what but I'm saying? You know. but, but at the same time, though, like, nigga, when we was out, when we was young, we wanted to be out. You feel me? 
The difference was I, if we had to be in, okay, now we'll get on the game or something. You feel me? But it wasn't just I, like. I feel like, though, all this being home, they're fucking off their pattern. They even want to go to school. You feel me? Like, now they're going to be used to being at home and sitting at home. And it, it'll probably be a lot of homeschooling. Like, a lot of people will probably just keep their kids out of school, period. You feel me? And, and it'll probably be a lot of homeschooling after this. It's just, especially since they're talking about they don't want to make you get vaccinated and shit for sure. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Shit, what about for that? Sure, sure. What if they That's tell you out. how to get vaccinated? What you going to do? The same shit that I tell them when they ask me if I want a flu shot. Fuck no. Mm -hmm. Nigga, keep what's that in shit. It? Some shit that ain't going what's... in me. <laughs> we know what's in it, though. <laughs> Just listen to the format, though. They giving you some but, shit that can change. But didn't we? Shit. Ha haven't we been vaccinated before? Like, like in our era? Like, didn't we have to get shots and shit? Yep. Yeah. The last time I got a flu shot, nigga, I got mm -hmm. sick more times with the flu than ever. Right. <laughs> they gave it to you. You know what I'm saying? That shit was a repetitive shot. pattern that year. I was like, I, I honestly never took a flu shot ever in life. I don't think and, that. And, 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 and I, I've got the flu, and I, you know, I was all right. I was down. I ain't going to front. But you know what I mean? I, I was all right. So, yeah. I never took the flu. I never took a flu shot, ever. Yeah, when I became not being able to, like, an, uh, an adult, not even an adult, but nigga old enough to be like, nigga, nah. That shit was a rap, you feel me? Got to. Hell yeah. That shit is a rap. I just don't see how injecting yourself with a virus can help you from not getting a virus. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like, yeah. is it like it? It do they don't they say like snake venom? If you inject a little snake venom, it help you like it kind of help you against venom from snake. Hmm. If you don't die, man. Every nigga I see, nigga hit this. You don't die. Look happy. Fuck all that. You wasn't happy, bro. No about that shit. We are gonna give you a little bit. See if, if you don't die, you are gonna be straight. You know what I mean? You gotta look at nigga shit. Unless you live in Arizona or New Mexico and them states with shit like that, that nigga, I'm not going nowhere near snakes anyway. Yeah. At all. Right. It's some right. rattlesnakes out here though, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I take definitely. that back though. I know a couple that walk and talk, so we gotta, you know what I mean? Mm. And you been around them. Mm. Man, what? The mm. federal. Yeah. Yeah. I actually lived that nurse and snake back to health story, you know? All right, man. Watch them shed their skin and everything. Mm, man. You feel was happy me? when they grew their first teeth. Right? <laughs> Eyes of a snake never blink, never cry, man. Man, R.P. Jack, boy. You feel yeah. me? Hey, what about the chip they talking about? You gonna get that chip? You gonna inject y'all with the chip, put the little barcode on you and shit? No, you already got the chip. It's in your phone. Man, for real, it's rocking right now. You already chipped up. You uh, feel me? You don't even. You, man, uh, listen, this phone is glued to you, man. Most yeah. people. You feel me? You know like, what? I bet you those new real IDs they making you get to where you can't fly without those motherfuckers and shit too. Mm -hmm. You know them for sure is chipped up, nigga. Them probably yeah. tracking devices. Straight off. Your, man, your phone is a tracking device. Yeah, but that's, that's a for uh, show tracking that's, device. That's a tracking Listen device. Listen to what they so say. You cannot fly anywhere without that motherfucker. So if you go out of state, you yeah, gotta all, all you gotta all you gotta all you gotta have is a passport. And and we got those. Yeah, so you can fly just fine. Hey, right. pretty I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the fucking shit the DMV sent me, nigga. And what it say yeah, about I'm that on, passport. I, I'm at the airport. So I I I know what they said. I'm telling you, all you need is a passport, sir. We gon' see, nigga. <laughs> hey, we can make hey, it back right now. My shit put on hold, though. They like, I can't even get none of that shit anyway, because all the DMVs is closed, so they had to put it on hold anyway, regardless. Yeah, you know, that shit on hold, but you know, you know, get a passport, oh, go baby. somewhere, and, and then and then now that you won't even have to get the real ID, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And at least not 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 right off, you know, they might, you know, they might throw a, 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 a wrench in it, but you know, a passport is just as good. So. I, that bro, I'm tell you this shit's sick, bro. You gonna get what? And then you gonna call me, you gonna be like, bro, <laughs> be like, nigga, that's bro, sick, I'm bro. I'm telling you right now, sir. We we you don't have to even <laughs> argue. A passport <laughs> is just as good, sir. You know what? I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. I'm telling you right now. All right. <laughs>
They put a tracker in that you passport. See? They know where you're they, going they, all the time. They, you go, out, you go they out, they, out of the country, they, they own you. The thing Bro. is, they know where you're going anyway because you booked the flight. You feel me? Like, man. Nigga, this the third episode. You get lost, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this the third episode, man. <laughs> but look, nah, you know, these phones for real, bro, is tracking devices, bro. For sure. For real, real. You feel me? Oh, yeah. If I'm mistaken, if I'm mistaken, I mean, I mean, I mean, these, these are just like real, real tracking devices, bro. And not even just you know, tracking like where you go, tracking like what you think, what's in your brain, what's your person, what, what type of what I'm saying, like, like what type everything. of, you know what I'm saying, what type of you your muscle. health app on your iPhone. The what? Yes. Is that every man step. in a motherfucking every, every step, every heartbeat, every? Come on, man. That's I didn't even know I was working out low key. I'm like, damn, <laughs> that shit is cold. That's a cold gadget, boy. This this is a chip. You feel me? They already got you chipped. And guess what? Most of us can't stay three feet away from this motherfucker. You lose your phone. You misplace your phone, bro. You like, ah, uh, ah, uh, shit, ah. Uh, now, that would be uh, hella funny. Niggas surviving this quarantine. Let's see if they say, oh, nigga, ain't cell phones banned right now. Man. There's no social media. No social then you gonna media. see motherfuckers jumping off bridges for real. Cut off Wi-Fi. Man. Let them cut off Wi-Fi. For real. Wi -Fi. Cut it off. Shoot. Now, look. Yeah, hey, now that, crazy. hey. What do you think will happen too, bro? Let's say it was let's say it was a power surge, right? And all the power went down for like two, three weeks out here in the bay. What do you think would happen then? You gonna see Nigga, the, the same thing that would happen. The freeze going out, out. Hold, on, hold on, let me get one first. Let me get let me get both first. Go ahead, both. Man, the same shit that's gonna happen anywhere if the power goes out. <laughs> yeah. Niggas running in shit, bro. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? It's real life purge. Yeah. Because if the power's out, that means there's no cameras out. If there's no cameras out unless the nigga see you doing something, nigga, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Man. I ain't scared of the dark. Oh, yeah, well, I think the same thing. Man, because we from the air. If the lights go out and a power, a power surge and they like, they really off, I mean, it, it'll be cool in the daytime, but at nighttime, it, it'll get real. Yeah, it would. You feel me? Yeah. It'll get real, real. People are going to be, and not only that, not only is you gonna have the the wild wings and the the freaks that come out at night, you are gonna have the extra scared people, and they just as dangerous. They even stay, they're the worst ones. Right, they're right, the, yeah. And the police officers, you know what I'm saying? Right. They got guns and shit. The scary ass motherfuckers. Right, right. The <laughs> extra scary people. You hey. know what I mean? And so. at that time, you gotta look at it like, nigga, it ain't about none of that shit, nigga. If you moving wrong, I'm popping your shit. If you outside close, nigga, you getting flopped. You feel me? Like I mean. Period. At that point, you need to be in the house with your family anyway. Man, what? That's real too, though. But if I am out, the what? If, ninjas, nigga, ninjas are out, gonna be man. out. out. Ninjas are gonna be out, man. The mob goblins. You feel me? <laughs> that's the period. The, man. That's the new TD. That's the new mixtape coming in summertime. Hey, you already know. Goblins. You already hey, know. Imagine how that shit like in Alaska, dude. When that shit just like dark for motherfucking months straight, though. Man, hey. I, that's it. But you not, not even fuck the dark. Daytime for six months straight. Like, come on, bro. Now that right there is insane. Yeah, well, if you like me, I can't sleep. When the when it's daytime, like as soon as the sun come up, if I be up all night like I was last night, and the sun come up, there's no sleeping for me. Like I can't, I just unless I just block all the light out the window. You gotta get pure you know I mean? blackout. Yeah, I gotta, for the get, whole house. I gotta I, I gotta get uh, uh pitch black, man. I That's can't it. do it. Yeah, I can't. I can't, be able I can't. To. Right. So with everybody in Alaska fucking with it, man. Your boy's I, sick I, for real. For real. We went out there. Uh, I went out there. I got I had the pleasure of going to Alaska, man. Uh, the Anchorage, me and uh, here we go with me, Jack and Rod, and us. Matter of fact, it was nice. You know what I mean? It was real nice, man. Alaska is dope. Shout out Alaska. Shout out the uh, the nine oh seven. You feel me? Shout that out everybody dope. tapping in right now, man. Shout out to you, man. <laughs> Yeah. Shout out my nigga, and shout out my nigga Duck Man too from Alaska, man. That boy dope. You feel me? If you think Alaska ain't got dope rappers, and dope niggas, man. Check that out Duck, Duck, man. Boy. <laughs> Duck go stupid. Yeah.
And I found out about Duck to our Seattle brothers. Fact. Shit, I ain't too far. So shit, back on this, keep it on the music shit, bro. Like, uh, what y'all think about independent music versus sign, like being signed to a deal? Like, what's who benefits more and why? Well, we, uh, we would have to ask somebody that's been signed to a deal. Yeah. Shit, we ain't signed to no deals. We independent. I'm independent. You know what I mean? So shit, I, I would, as long as you making money, man. I, I mean, you know, all more, more power to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody deal like the same and, you know what I'm saying? Everybody pace ain't the same and everybody ain't doing the same. You know, there's some people you never hear about that make hella money from this shit. And there's some people that you hear about that don't make shit from this shit. You know what I'm saying? So independent and uh sign. You know what I'm saying? So For sure. that shit like it just it's all about what you got. You know what I'm saying? What you can do for you. I think if you got if they if you independent and you making your dough, keep going. You feel me? If you sign. And you ain't making no dough, you probably should go independent. You feel me? Yeah, man. Like, Cause you look at boys like Tech Nine and Dre Dog and them niggas, they got like cult followings, independent just you know what I'm saying? Like top. Like like it's it's like independence for the hustlers, really. That's just the real life. Cause it's niggas that ain't even hella dope, they got hella money off music though, cause they hustle is just Pokemania, you know what I'm saying? Niggas is with that right. shit. I think like if you got a package but don't know how to push yourself, then that'd probably be better if you sign. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to do all that shit for you. You know what I'm saying? But all you're not right, about man. to eat like the independent niggas, though. Not at all. You feel me? That's why if what you is- notice a lot of artists that were signed, or they became independent. And then that's them artist- when they ate, though. You feel me? But do every artist that sign get pushed by the label, though? Hell you know no. I mean? Sometimes, Some the niggas sometimes they just sign dance. you. You know what I mean? So... I mean, for me, bro, the way I would look at it is it depends on how you finesse, you finesse getting signed, bro, because you look at some people, they get signed, do a couple of deals, you know, use that, and then after that, they're over with that shit, they go independent, and they really push their and shit. And, and I, think that. that's, I think that's smart right there. You, feel you, me? Do it, you know what I mean? Because Hell yeah, that's smart right there. It's to both sides, because if you sign, you know, depending on what you're doing, they're going to put money behind you and really promote you and shit, like you said, depending on the deal you got. And that's all what it breaks down to is, you know, if you got a shitty deal, then you know, no matter what, bro, you fuck. But if you get if you finesse sure. it right and you get that good deal, you know, you can really make it make it positive for you. But the independent way, at the end of the day, that's how you get that long money. You know what I mean? That's, that's really how, how, that, that's your money. And that's you how you me? do. You could do you independently. Oh yeah, that's Every, your money. You know, yeah. you, we gonna need Every this kind of album. Man. We need this kind of song. We, you, know, you do whatever the fuck you want to. You so, so we gonna say independent, man. We think we we gonna yeah, say independent sure. is better. You yeah, feel sure. me? Like. Uh, but you gotta finesse it though. You can finesse that. You can finesse that deal for a couple albums. You know, you know, mm-hmm. put it out for them. You know what I'm saying? And then we come back with your own shit and really, you know, put your shit out there. You feel me? E40 because you, shit. E40's that you, shit you, you, you gotta finesse them because they're gonna be trying to finesse you. Yeah, because it's a dog eat dog world. You know what I mean? Sure. And man, and shout out to home to the whole Bay Area for us starting this whole independent pushing, getting that man. shit out the trunk shit though. You know what I mean? Shout out to the don't Shout talk out. about that. Shout out. Right. You don't talk about that. We're going to do a whole, we was talking about doing a whole uh, documentary about the Bay of LA, how, you know, we like brothers, you feel me? And, you know, we really got to put this shit together where we could stamp this whole California shit because the last time the, the whole West was winning was when that pot shit was going and it was like some some type of unity with the music. Because at the end of the day, we don't, we don't live close enough to LA like to be bumping in these fools in the store and all shit like that or at functions and shit, but we close enough to be, you know, we could tap in with them and we got similar styles of music and shit. And you know, that's that's what people want to hear, bro. People want to hear that music. Like, you know, they don't that's so that's that's what it's all about, is doing this music shit. So that's we really gotta bridge that gap, bro. We put the little DVD together, you know what I'm saying? Or not DVD, but you know, a little little Netflix documentary type shit together. You know, twenty We got a lot of LA family, man. We gonna we gonna we're gonna get them in there, man. We're gonna get them to chime in on this, man. We got to yeah, man. Yeah. This next episode or something, we're going to get some of the L.A. brethren to uh, chime on in with us. You know what I mean? Yeah, For sure. sure. This whole, ca- you know, this whole killer Cali. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, what, you see our boy 6 9 back out? He about to do some shit. You seen that? Man, is that is that crazy or what? It's 2020. I'm going to tell you what's crazier than that. Is how these motherfuckers just welcoming them home and receiving it like that, though. 
know what I'm saying? But this the crazy thing that we got to understand, though, is that everybody that buy music ain't street niggas. So they ain't going to go and they ain't going to go by our values and morals. You feel me? Them niggas don't care. They just out there wild on some other shit. Like, you know what I mean? I don't, even that's, think, that's I, don't, choice, I don't even think I don't even think snitching is just just predominantly like street thing. Like, I mean, I, th- I think that carry on all aspects of everything. Business people, you feel me? Like For telling sure. on somebody is telling. You know what I'm saying? I don't think nobody really respect that. Hey, but me? the but, fucked up thing though, bro, is a lot of those white collar niggas tell on each other and they be having tea time with each other after though. You know what I'm saying? Like them niggas be on uh, some other shit, bro. Like that's I can't fuck with a nigga that told on me, man. They have you know they have it like that because though. they don't have that they don't have the street mentality. You know the street mentality. They all we know how to handle. You know you know how we handle business in the streets. You feel me? So when you ain't got that mentality, you only handle business the way you know how to business. Like you know, look at that stairs, that fucking John man. He told like me, man. business. Yeah, you know what I mean, <laughs> fucking prick. You know what I mean? So that's why it be, it's different mentality when you're from the streets. You you that's all you thinking. Feel me? Street. And their mentality, them nigga type mentality is business, and business don't have any loyalty. You feel me? Business is <clears> like <throat> the streets. You feel but me? Worse. But worse. <laughs> There's a lot more worse. money in it. In the street, somebody tell on you, you could damn near go see that man. You feel me? If he's around. On that aspect, you feel me? You can, but you know, do you do 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 people go see people for real? Yeah, like, no, man. Man. Mm. like man, like that was really fucked up, Ted. You, this is the best. This is the <laughs> biggest example that people really don't go see people no more because he ain't even scared or nervous. It's regular. Get out know, after after telling on a whole gang. You feel me? A whole gang got some dangerous people. For real, not even he, no fucking lummy type. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, like him, you ain't even. He ain't even nervous. He joking about it, like laughing, like it's like it's a, like it's a, it's a reality show. Like you he feel probably me? worked for him now anyway, though. You know what I mean? Like he on the payroll shit now. Did he work for him to begin? No, a million Oof. dollar question. <laughs> Did he work for him to begin? Do they got to take some blame in it for letting him talk like that, knowing he wasn't like that? So, I, I, yeah. That's going to kind you of feel me? the next one, bro. Like, man, what's up with people not holding themselves accountable? And, like, you know, that's that's holding yourself accountable right there. You feel me? Like, you do some, you do the crime, you got to do the time. Man. You know, like, that's a that's along the same lines. Like, how y'all feel about that shit? Uh, you know, as long as we, as long as these people been wanting people to hold, they self accountable has always been scapegoats. Like people don't like people don't want to hold they self accountable. You feel me? They, they, you take a stand up, a, a non afraid, a brave person to just hold they self accountable, especially for some serious shit. You know what I'm saying? Like most people is sneaky. You know what I'm saying? They not responsible. People just sneaky. But like people, it, the average person to kill somebody if they thought they could get away with it. Hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, like people don't be really holding themselves accountable, man. Like, I try to. You, I'm sure, like, it's been times where I've I kind of, like, didn't say nothing either when I could have held, held myself accountable. Though. So, you know what I'm saying? It, I, I, it go both ways a lot, like, I think. Hey, but that's I, crazy, I, though. Because when a nigga do be feeling like that, though, it always come back, you feel me? And it, it'll be in your own mind, like talking to you later on when you get that little moment by yourself and you know, you feel me? You right. out of line though, you know what I'm saying? Do and that's what happened a lot like- of times though, you know what I'm saying? But 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 you totally right though, bro. It does take a but- brave person to do that though. Cause a lot of us, a lot of us think so much of ourselves that we won't allow ourselves to be accountable for that shit. Like, no, nah, it can't be my fault. Like this nigga is, that nigga, he's right. bad karma. He got bad vibes or something. The you blame you guy. You had that bad luck nigga on the rock. You feel me? That Bl- blame shit. everybody. You feel me? Like I, like, I had a chick that did that, bro. She blamed everybody for everything. You feel me? Like, never had no accountability, man. And and, 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 and Sally, that's what, how a lot of people is. You feel me? Everybody, everything is somebody else's fault. Like, you feel I me? Think like, the nah, apple man, don't I- fall too far from the tree. That's probably her mom that let her get away with hella shit, like, and told her, like, made excuses for her as a child. It wasn't your fault. That was good. I ain't, gonna, 
I ain't gonna put it on her mama because I know her mama though. It was just her. You feel me? But you know that that that's what it is though, bro. Like uh uh people like we like I don't know, man. Maybe I, I kind of think it's like a scary thing. Like you know what I'm saying? People got a lot. I think when people lie and like just like purposely not, you know, when you know you did some shit, and you don't want to take responsibility or be accountable for it. That's like scary. You feel me? Like that's like you know, like ain't nobody like I don't got a lot of nobody for what. I don't got a lot of my mom, so I don't got a lot of you. I don't got a lot of bro. I don't got a lot of both. For what? What you gonna do? You feel me? That's anybody. The only person I should be lying to police. is the police. <laughs> you feel <laughs> me? That's it. You feel me? That's it. And, and, and nobody else, bro, because we don't have to lie. As grown, especially when you grown. Now, I understand kids, you know, it's right. you know you're not grown. When you grown, I did that, man. That's it. Yeah. You feel me? I said yeah, that, and that's it. What else? You know what I'm saying? But you know, everybody ain't like that. Some people like the what they say, throw the rock and hide their hand. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's that's the type of world we live in. There, people like to just throw the rock and hide their hand. You know what I'm saying? We live in a world where you say something like even on on like a mainstream type thing where you say something and then you just go back on there and say sorry. Like, like nah, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, no, don't just back out of it with a sorry, my dude, you said that. So right, now, man. let me come say my piece and let's meet up face to face and let's just talk. You feel me? If you know. So that's what Press we're doing. Team. Everybody, we holding everybody accountable for everything. You, for you, you're, you're held accountable for your own actions in all 2020, all the 20s, through all the 20s, man. Mm -hmm. we, 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 you're being held accountable for everything you do. You do some sucking shit, we holding you accountable. You do some nerd stuff. We holding you accountable. You do some anything you do, we holding you accountable. You feel me for it? You lied to the homies, we holding you accountable. You lied to yourself. We holding you accountable. You feel mm -hmm. me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's how you that's make it. That's how you make each and other. Do the stronger. same to us. Yeah. That's how you make each other stronger, bro. Cause you, you know, you hold each other accountable. You know what I'm saying? Like Right up. Yeah. You know, work out with somebody, you on a diet with somebody or some shit like that, you got to do it because, you know, the next person next to you is doing it too. So you feel yeah. accountability, you know what I mean? You got to play your part, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to be, you know, you, real sharpens real, like still sharpens still. Man, so, you know, that's that's all we're trying to do is help each other get, get stronger and be better, man, because shit, obviously, we need it. Yeah, that's real. That's that. You know, healthy lifestyle, bro. You know, we got to try to be healthy out here. You know, we got kids and shit and trying to live as long as we can. You trying to live? Yeah. You don't understand that when you're well. I'm like, man, I'm really trying to live out here, man. Yeah. I'm really trying to be 80, man. And that kind of, that, that goes into the next question, bro. Like, like, what's a healthy lifestyle to you, bro? Like, what do you consider? Like, everybody got a different idea of what's healthy. You feel me? Like, what, you know, some people say a vegan life. Some people say they do the keto or whatever. What's what's a healthy lifestyle to you, bro? As far as diet and what all the other exercise. Man, I say first, there has to be a mental health before any of that. Because <clears throat> mm. if you're not healthy upstairs, then everything else is gonna crumble. I don't give a fuck what you do. You feel me? A keto diet or whatever. You know what I mean? Bro. Because that's where everything that tells you what to do comes from. Second is. Honestly, man, it's just really trying to stay away from fast food as much as you can. That's that type of shit that's going to fuck you off, though. Like, I see vegans' point of view when they're like, yeah, plant-based and meat and da-da-da-da-da, but I'm pretty sure that naturally as humans, we're meat eaters, you know what I'm saying? So our body needs some type of nutrients that that shit is providing, whether you, well, you uh, just uh, making uh, a little uh, uh, too. Not to yeah. cut you off, but I don't know if we was naturally meat eaters. You don't think so? I don't think so. I don't think our teeth was made like that. I don't think we was made to really be eating meat. You feel me? Like, like truthfully. Like, you know what I'm you're, saying? You're, but you you're know. You're a vegan or vegetarian, Dub, or what? You don't eat meat? I'm like a, I'm like a, a, a pescatarian, <laughs> semi-vegetarian. I don't eat uh, pork, obviously, or beef yeah. or chicken or none of that. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I've been, I've been like a, a, a semi-vegetarian for like eight months now, and I feel better. I can at all, you feel me? Like I feel extra yeah. better. That's what's up. Yeah, that's, that's good, I, ain't, I ain't ate no meat shit for like two years, bro. See, you feel me? 
and, and before real, right, real, real, before you stop, real vegetarian. Did you start feeling bad? I did, but so so this is what it is though. I'm I'm about to start. Like I told my kids, bro, because I'm only doing this for health. I'm not doing this shit for no, you know. Some people do it because they want to save the planet. Some people want to do it for religious reasons, whatever. I'm doing it strictly for my health. You feel me? Right. So, you know, there's a lot of shit in meat that doesn't come in certain things. You feel me? So I've been I've been two years off this shit. I don't I don't miss it. But right, me either. You know, I, I told my kids I'm gonna start getting back to probably like once, maybe twice a month, have meat. Just so I can get that little shit that's in there back in my system, because uh, right. I don't miss it to eat it like that. Because I don't, I, I, I like going places and being able to say I don't eat. You know, I'm cool. I don't eat that shit. I, I, like yeah, discipline. I do too. I, discipline. Don't lie, dude. This nigga ain't much. I ain't missing it at all. I don't even have the, the <clears throat> urge to eat the appetite for it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I don't even. Before I go somewhere and it be some fried chicken or something, I'm like, oh, I gotta get a little piece of that real yeah. quick. Like I don't even got the urge or nothing no more. Cause it's like all, it, it, like Bo was saying, it's all mental. All that shit is up top. Cause you eat it, as soon as you eat the shit, it's gone. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's only like about a couple minutes, you know, five, 10 minutes tops worth of eating. And after that, right. you're sitting on it for hours. You know what I mean? So it's, it's right, right. Bro, if you're just thinking like that, you want to keep it, you know, you want to keep shit healthy inside of you, you know, then that's, that's kind of how, how, how it starts. You feel me? That's how my shit started. I don't want to want to make sure whatever I was putting in me was healthy. And even like Bo was saying with the, with the, you know, plant-based shit, like, a lot of that shit is processed food anyway. Like, Facts, people, yeah. people talk shit about yeah. it. If it's vegan shit, it's not processed food. Like, they put that shit through a processor and hella shit. Like, you feel me? Like, you know, you still getting processed food from just not meat, which is better for you, but you still getting processed food. You know what I mean? So, well, at the end of the day, you still trusting somebody when they say, well, what is in this? You don't really know what it is. You feel me? Unless exactly. you made it. You know what I'm saying? So you, your trust game is through the roof. All our trust game is through the roof when we eat fast food. <coughs> you feel me? Because yeah. we like, we like, we they, we just telling you that we trust somebody. Some kid. Not only, yeah. You feel me? Kid making burgers. Cr- don't care. <laughs> don't give a shit. He don't know, even know how to wash his you. body all the way. Uh, like, man, uh, he in there going. Yeah. Hey. But Let yeah, me. no, no. Serving up for <laughs> Just naturally how a motherfucker gotta be with his health because of the diabetes shit. I don't really fuck with hella meat or hella unhealthy shit though. So that kept that helped a lot too though. You know what I mean? Like, but I ain't gonna lie though, I ain't finna put that shit down like that though. I barely fuck with it now, but I ain't finna put it down. Like I respect both y'all shit. That's man, that's my I'm glad y'all niggas for better, but yeah, I ain't putting that shit down. Straight up. Hey, man, I, I, I see, I, I, it's hopeful, <laughs> my brother, because I was once like that, too. You feel me? I'm like, hey, what? I'm going to be eating chicken forever. Right? That's what I thought. You feel me? But once I, you know what it is? It was like I wanted to give myself a tune-up. I'm like, I've been eating meat, like, damn near every day or every other day for years. You feel me? Like, straight. Mm. I probably ate a hundred chickens, nigga, and, and <laughs> forty cows. You feel me? Whole ones. You feel me? Out after all this meat. So I was like, man, let me try to get myself like a tune up and try not to eat it. And I started. I was just gonna do it for like two weeks. You feel me? And once I did it, though, that that first couple weeks, and then that first month, I just started feeling better. Like I was able to wait. I wasn't because you know I like I you know my 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 schedule is kind of you know it's all over the place. So I come in late, you know, we eat late. You, and the worst thing is to eat some, like, meat, like some turkey or some chicken hella late at night and then to sleep on it. Because the next morning when you wake up, bro, you feeling horrible. You feel me? Like, you, mm. your stomach all over. You straight to the bathroom, bro. You feel me? And and when I did that for that two weeks, when I just went all on vegetables, and my, I started feeling better and I didn't stop. You feel me? I don't, I don't think I'm going to stop until I clock out. So. You know, I still That's catch the fish up. sometimes, though. I ain't gonna front on salmon, but I, I you know, I, I, I plan on just eliminating that shit too. The hardest part mm. is, is finding that uh replacement, you know what I mean? Because you used to eat right. these meals with meat every you know, every meal for the most part. My thing was yeah. to, shit to replace that, that's still healthy, you know, to keep my shit still in balance. Because you know, you start you, you change your diet like that, it's, it's, a, it's a radical change as opposed to what you're sure. Doing. You know, I wasn't doing, I'm not really doing no dairy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I stay away from, even now, I stay away from the dairy. <clears throat> I, I haven't had meat for two years, but I'm um, almost three. But, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I, I don't, I've been, I've been like off and on with the dairy. Like, I, I eat shit with, with, got eggs cooked in it sometimes. And right, I'm, right. Eggs. I'm not eating like no scrambled eggs and never. You know what I'm saying? So, 
you know, milk and shit. Not, but my shit is just being healthy, bro. Like, I don't, I'm not doing this shit to be some, you know, like strict. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just doing it to better myself. From where I came from to now, I'm obviously it's a, it's light years away. So I'm just trying to progress and get better every day. But ain't nobody perfect. Right. So at the end of the day, you know, I'm, all. you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna get as close as I can. But I already know I'm fucking up sometimes. So it is what it is. You know, we all work in progress. You know what I mean? We are taking it day by day, man. You know what I'm saying we can always plan not to do something, but you never know. Life comes at you fast and hard. So even though you plan shit, you know what I'm saying the plans can be altered. Real fast. Last so, you man. Yeah, man. You know, but you know. Shout out to the vegetarians and the pescatarians and the vegans and the, and the meat eaters, man. You yeah. know, do you, do what you like to do, man. You know, if that I think that's what, uh, yeah, right. you know, be, peace, you know what I'm saying? Being happy, you know what I'm saying? That's healthy. You feel me? Regardless, think, regardless if you're eating meat or not eating meat. If you're happy doing it, you're yeah. happy. Hey, don't don't try to talk shit to somebody right. that's doing whatever they're doing. <laughs> I'm interested to tell you one of you niggas barbecues this summer. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> hey, but I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I, you know what? My kids know I get down on anything. If I'm cooking chicken, steak, whatever, I get down. So, you know, it's all good. I'm about to get some steaks going tonight. You feel me? For the kids. You, for the kids? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. When I was first like, Stop eating red meat, bro. Steaks was the hardest. Steaks used to be like my favorite yeah. meat. I ain't gonna lie. Chicken, chicken, my shit. Just to cut meat off, bro. Yeah. Motherfucking beef and steak would be the easiest thing. It's the chicken and the seafood. I can't shake, bro. I can't shake. And I don't even fuck with like fried chicken like that. I love that baked shit, though. All kinds of different ass sauces. You know what I'm saying? Like, just. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's just got me. I got I got tired of chicken, bro. Like, bro, I tell you, I can yeah, chicken, chicken, chicken barbecue, <laughs> chicken. You know, I ain't nothing but chicken for years or turkey. Like, I'm like, I ate chicken everywhere you can eat a chicken, man. I got tired of that shit. Like, it's just you know, it's, it's, this shit just start. Being, I ain't gonna lie, like uh, bro said though. I do. It's hard finding vegetarian meals though. When you when you knew you need a tag team partner in this shit, you feel me? Because Shout out I'll Vegan be, Mob, too, by the way. Yeah. Vegan Mob. Shout out Vegan Mob, hell yeah. By the lake on Tim. Yeah, and it's, and it's delicious. Try it out. Hell yeah. Tell them we sent you. Tell them the mob sent you. You feel me? Yeah. Pull up on them, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope you, yeah, you, you boys gonna have that type shit popping off for a nigga, huh? Yeah, <laughs> man. I'm gonna have straight <laughs> asparagus. Um, man. It's straight, it's straight asparagus, man. Asparagus hey. and, and squash, ratatouille. You ever had you ratatouille? Know what's fucked up? Every time I go to Cheesecake Factory and I get the the little herb crusted salmon, but I give the asparagus away. I'm <laughs> you know, every time, bro. Every time, though. And the thing about me and asparagus, bro, I gotta have it finely cut up. Like you know, you gotta cut it up like that, or I won't eat it because I don't like that little slimy, like. That little, you know, whatever that little shit is. You got to check that shit up fine. Green drumstick. Shilling like a green drumstick. I didn't give it to you. For real. Hell yeah. Y'all hear about the stimulus check they're sending out? They're sending it out, but next year, you got to pay that shit back. I think that's false, though. I don't know. That's what I, I heard. heard they take it out of next year's income tax. Nah, I think that I think they I, it's this it's a site on 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 it's this site I think it's called Snopes or something. Yeah. And yeah. they tell you what's true and true and false on the internet. Type it in there. I think that's a false. I think that's false, man. If they do that, oh, there's a motherfucker. <laughs> if they yeah. give you a stimulus check and then double down on you, like, oh yeah, we forgot to tell you. Yeah, nigga, you owe this back. <laughs> that's that's called. I think that's false, though. And the fucked up thing, though, is they probably did tell niggas. They didn't even read the motherfucking letter. Yeah. And nothing, just ripped Do we check. ever? It went straight to the, you feel me? Do we ever read the, do we ever read the fine print? Man, if you don't want to get your shit. Hey, if you, if you don't want to get doubled down, nigga, you better read that motherfucker. When you opened up your phone, did you read the manual? Nope. I ain't gonna lie, Lightweight did a little bit, though. No, you wanted a few, boy. Right, so yeah, right, 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 right. That, nah, fake. but you know what I did? I, I, went, I'm, I'm like, wait, I'm fake, huh? buck, I went to the what's new, and just to see what it is, because I know how to use the motherfucker. It's the same every year with a better camera. So, 
you know what I'm saying, just to see what's going on. Like, I didn't sit there and read it word for word, but yeah, though, I'm one of them niggas, though, I do like to read that shit, though. I be wanting to know That's if this shit ain't fine shit going on, nigga, I want to know. Fact. You're real intricate. I'll be slipping them little, them, them little phrases in there. They slide them in there. You don't even know what they mean. You don't even read them. When you, when you got your ID, did you read all the papers or did you just sign? I'm going to keep it 100. I signed. <laughs> no, nah, but I did. I, only, I read the organ shit, though. You feel me? Like, uh, I wouldn't. I read the donate the organ shit, though. That part. But. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That part. But I'm talking about, you know, all that intricate where they stripped you and everything. And I was like, man, here, get this, dry, this uh, ID right here. Just but, sign right know, here. All you got to do is just sign. You ain't really got to read that. That just basically say, uh, you good. <laughs> you feel me? You I'm going to tell oh, you okay. what happened, right? I have to keep it a stack with you, though. A nigga didn't have his L's in so long. And when my pilot told me, nigga, they had the little, uh, what's that shit called, bro? When they was knocking off all the fines to go get your shit for the bullshit tickets that they had in oh, California. Yeah, when, yeah, when they was, when you could call that number and you could, what the, I forgot what the shit was called. I know what you're talking about, though. Mm -hmm. Whatever that shit's called. When that nigga told me, hey, nigga, let's go, set up, let's go. And I went and looked the next morning, and they were like, yeah, come down the court and boo, boo, boo. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ran went down DMV, there. Went through all the little bullshit real quick, went to DMV. And when they told me I could get my license that day, nigga, yeah, I ripped, I ripped through that motherfucker. I ain't going to lie. Oops. The real one, when they sent it, you feel me? When it was the paper, I was like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, it ain't shit. But when that bitch came in the mail, yeah, I ripped that motherfucker open and was like, yeah, I'm jumping in something legally right now. Right, you right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. Yeah, I can see that. And that's a lesson, children. Always read the fine print, no matter how long it takes you. And you know what I mean? You don't never know what you're signing or what you're getting hooked up to, man. Even, we, even, even these true. apps. You know, these apps, you know, you got the apps to be like, you accept you accept anything just to get on the app. You don't know what the hell that shit says. That nigga so, say, yeah, uh, we got the right to take every picture out your phone and uh use it. You just like I agree. Just let me do your research. Do your research. That's it. You feel me? Your own research. Cause last night I was having a debate with somebody, right? They tried to tell me some shit. I was like, nah, man, let me look that up, man. So sure enough. He was trying to run around on me. You know. <laughs> and so do your own research, children and adults. Do your own research. Adults go one on one. Yeah. Motherfuckers be coming home with them them educations, bro. <laughs> These other places though, like, like, bro, what did you where did you read that manual? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, well, like, why would you? <laughs> like, for instance, when niggas was on that super Illuminati hype, I believe there is one, but I don't think they gonna sit there and uh, give you a book about that shit to let you know. Right. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Motherfuckers is crazy though. That's that accountability. The it, motherfuckers wanna not take accountability for their own shit and blame the Illuminati for why I ain't doing shit. Oh, I ain't Illuminati, it's Illuminati. They, they that's easier it. though. They you feel me? Like that's easier. So excuse. Why not? Like man, you know what? I mean, you feel me? You know who did that shit? Illuminati. 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 You feel me? So, so you know. Is there an Illuminati? We don't know. We don't give a we shit. We don't care. You got nothing to do with me. Because we got to pay the rent at the end of the fucking day, man. As I tell you, COVID <laughs> here, <laughs> UFOs here, John Horn is here. Guess what? Pay your fucking rent. It don't Fine. never stop, <laughs> man. Yeah, it don't never stop, bro. It don't never stop. It could be a million things going on. When that shit roll around, pay your mortgage, pay your rent, pay your bills. We don't give a fuck what's going on. You feel me? So that's where we at, that's where we at with it. That's where we at with it, man. That's what's up. I think we we, we cover a lot yeah, of topics today. Yeah. I don't know why you motherfuckers, I know you guys had to see these people driving in their cars with the mask on. Like, I don't get what the fuck that's about, bro. I do it. That's why I do it. The I do it just because you can, bro. I have to be doing it just because you can, bro. I do it. I walk yeah, in. Man, I ain't trying to be breathing in no fucking mask all day for no reason. Man, listen, man. I'm walking out all dressed in black with a mask on, looking like I'm playing in Mortal Kombat. 
You feel me? <laughs> it's fun to me. It's fun to walk up. Look, I'm, let, let me tell you about mine. I didn't, I didn't want to cop them. I'm coming out in a whole tracksuit, tracksuit 20. You feel me? Then I, it, I'm tracksuit 20. Then I got this on over it. You feel me? I'm like, it's like it's like Halloween, even though yeah, I don't believe yeah. in it. You feel every me? It's day. like, yeah, every day, like, <laughs> bro. You don't know how funny it is to me. You know I'm funny in the inside, so you don't know how funny it is to walk in like a a sushi place where it's number white folks at, and then you be black with black all on with a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny to me, bro. So that's why I wear the mask. Right. Man. And we got a film. That's, that'd be a whole skit right there. You know what I mean? Right, bro. Walk in, walk in, or it's hella nice and shit. It's all masked up, blacked out. All masked you know, up. Like, hey, how you doing? Nice as shit, though. Yeah. They're already going to be nervous. And that's when I, that, it really happened to me. Yeah. I had the mask on. I'm at the little john where I be going. They kind of know me up there. You feel me? So everybody was looking like, and the dude was like, hey, how you doing? So you feel me? So once he said that, though, everybody kind of like they, you know, their guards went down and shit. But it was just funny to me. You feel me? So I'm going to keep my mask on, man. Shout out to mask, man. <laughs> we got to do that shit. The your yeah. shit nigga look better than mine. No, I got one of them N95 silly ass paint look nigga at little fucking mask. And that shit on top of one of the bitch. I don't like that one. But I ain't right. going to lie. I will show you my other one. Well, I have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything, yeah, bro. That's why I think people, a lot of people, wearing the mask, though, bro. It's it's, it's a fashion statement now. Kind of, you yeah. feel me? It's a fashion statement now, bro. To just you know, like, man, let me match my mask with my kicks today, bro. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, I got the red whoop whoop on with the red joints on. You feel me? So yeah. it's becoming a fashion statement, and it's gonna be in for a long time. So we might as well get used to it. That's real. You feel me? It'd be interesting to see what the armed robbery rate been the last two uh, couple months since niggas had to wear masks. Shit, ain't nobody got shit. <laughs> yeah, everybody shit. out here, everybody, everybody trying to seven. rob it. Everybody trying to rob each other. Whole oh, world out here, man. That shit probably up though. It's a lot I'm of scenarios. You. I'm telling you how smooth you can just walk. Everybody got them on, bro. So it ain't nobody really like, like you know what I'm saying. Ain't, ain't too many like in the, unless you're in the like the right circumstance. Ain't nobody really tripping off you having them. Not even the police, bro. I'm right. As soon as I see the police, guess what I do? Do just on purpose. Like man, yeah. I'm dipping off. You feel me? That guess what? I did it the other day. And nigga, the boys put this shit on. Like shit, nigga, we got them too. You feel me? So like this, this shit just a fashion statement, bro. Mm -hmm. Until it really get real, then it's gonna get real scary. When you feel me? Once it open back up, and you still can wear the mask on, and then the goblins is out, then it's gonna be. You know what I mean? It's gonna be. It's gonna be. You know, we'll see then. You, you heard about the dude that got uh the security guard? You feel me? That got smoked because he told somebody to put a mask on. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. One mm. guy wetter, you feel me? So, you know, mask on, like you should say, mask off. Oh, fuck fucking it. mask on. That's <laughs> fucked up. Nigga went from telling that nigga to put a mask on and having to get a suit put on him. Man, see? Oh, world. In a minute, we're going to be in full toxic suits, man. Bro, you <laughs> see the motherfucking food places, they already like that, though. That should be looking. Oh, you know what? Uh, 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 another thing, I think it's like, bro, we just happened to catch the world at that that time, like in the transition time, bro. Like we in the real future, like going to. You feel it's me? Like real. It's the real future right now. Yeah. We finna be in. So that's why everything finna be. That's why it gonna be you. You know, every future movie you see, well, guess what it was? Twenty twenty. That's when all the real shit start. You know what I mean? Like so. We, we we either we we finna be in this real this real future, man. It might be a green motherfucker walking next to you one day, man. You feel me? It might it might Robocop might be chasing niggas now. You feel me? Stop. Robocop. You feel me? So get ready. Cause we in the future. Look, you told me, you'd have never thought you'd have had these back when we had Walkmans and C D Walkmans like, bro, they got the the wireless ones. We in the future, bro. 5G. 
we all like to check out all them wires because this shit, that shit for the controls and shit, bro. We in the future, bro. It's the future. Ain't y'all excited? That's, that's another thing that'll be hella interesting. How motherfuckers' brains are gonna be in twenty years after using these motherfuckers? You feel me? Yeah. Sure. You don't know yet. They might. You don't know. Right. Just like the niggas who were smoking the little cigarettes and Marlboros and all that shit, they didn't know yet. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, yeah. Hell yeah. They're going to tell you in a minute. You know how they just like all them commercials we see. If you ever used this or that 10 years ago and you uh and you died, you know, contact us. They said, uh, if you die. If you die, contact us. Bitch <laughs> ass niggas. Fucking <laughs> make shit. You feel me? And that's what it's gonna, it's gonna be hell of that, bro. All this shit we trying and just, you know, we end up with guinea pigs anyway, bro. And just try shit on us, bro. You know, certain areas, they'd be like, boop, all right, let's put this out right here and see how these motherfuckers act. That's why I be, people be crazy or whatever they be in certain different areas. Like, man, how they get like that? They didn't hit them with a little extra, a little different dose. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Guinea pig, we science projects out here, bro. Mm. Look at all this shit you put on you. Look at lotion. Look, read the back of some of this lotion and shit and this soap and see what that shit got in it. Shit looks sound like you can make a bomb. Nigga, nitroglycerin, I asked yeah, for that like, shit what? too. And I be like, what the fuck is nitroglycerin what minus the fuck nine? Is this shit? And then you turn your cereal box and the shit got the same shit on it. You feel me? Like, you we eating it too? <laughs> so, that's you know, crazy. and that's, you know what I mean? That's what, that's what it is, bro, with science and, we in the future. Wicked science, bruh, and future shit. Evil geniuses and wicked sciences. That's what we're dealing with out here. Man. And at the same time, pay your rent. Pay your rent. <laughs> Never forget. At the same time, pay your bills. And the coded shit, that's probably how it's always been. The, 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 the fucking format ain't changed. You know what I'm saying? Just the time and the day. Period, bro. You know what I mean? So, right. you know. Get ready, get ready, man. Get your kids ready. It's the future. Yeah. Gonna, we're gonna be seeing. We go. They already didn't show us that you're gonna be seeing and experiencing shit that you never have before. So shit. you know, get ready. 2020, 2020's been a different year all the way around. Man, off top, it, let it started you crazy. off off top. You feel me? It shook you up when one of your when one of most people's favorite icons died. You feel me? And then all then and then right after that happened, fucking the the whatever this shit is, Corona, COVID, down they changed the name six times. You feel me? That shit popped up. Now we got UFOs, mass hornets, nigga, high G towers, bro. We don't know what the fuck. This is too much, bro. It's almost too much. Next episode, we're gonna talk about. Next that. episode. <laughs> uh, yeah. Too much. Oh shit. my. You'll be covering shit all day. Yeah. You know, so shit, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back at it tomorrow. Shit, on that note, we're going to close it out. Man. So. Let's uh, shout uh, out any more small businesses, any, you know, shit like that. Shout out Vegan Mom. Shout out my small business, man. 2GM, man. You feel me? Shout out your small business, bro. You feel me? Shout out, shout out your small yeah. business, bro. You feel me? And shout man. out, shout out every, you know. I can't think of nothing off top. I gotta write this shit down. It's good. You already know. <laughs> Same, you rocking. Man, shout out to everybody being themselves, man. You know what I'm saying? You know who y'all are, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga LB, man, at Runch. You know what I'm saying? Shout out the Green Door SF, man. Shout out Cookies, man. Shout out yes. the marijuana industry, though. You feel me for being essential through this whole time. That's probably been helping niggas, you feel me? Uh, mm-hmm. Not lose their minds in this crazy ass overhyped out media shit that's been going on, this stampede that they've been running on everybody. Man, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know how they you do know, it, just bro. like, they, you know what that reminds me of? It's like when they catch a nigga with like a load on a documentary and they be like, we caught over $22 billion worth of cocaine. Like, nigga, that shit was six bricks. <laughs> what are you talking about? Fuck you selling that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Out of space, nigga. <laughs> hey, and it ain't like niggas spreading no that that corona shit is real though. You know what I'm saying? You see motherfuckers really dying though. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that no, they no, no, no. overly hyping it to cause people and to put us in a hysteric mindset though. Fuck all that, man. I don't I don't you think know? the conspiracy was ever was the corona real. 
I think the conspiracy was where how it got here. You feel me? How it just popped up. You feel me? Like all of a sudden. Man. Because you know, you know the shit real. You know, I don't think people gonna be faking about their family members dying. You feel me? That's you what I was saying. Like, ain't nobody people. faking about that shit, bro. So, but he said, if you is, like, you a cold yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Ain't no yeah, hope. You know, shout out to the, you know, what I mean, rest in peace to the people that did die from this shit, man. Facts. And everybody pay attention before you become a part of the hoax and you ain't gonna like it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That hoax you talking about? Yeah, they put motherfuckers in islands and they letting their people even see them right now in pure mass grave sites. Man, they burning yeah. shit. They burning bodies, man. Can't dope. even get near it. That shit real. Shit's it ain't even funny. In the World uh, War Two or something, World War Three, you feel me? This damn near how World War Two started, ain't it? Motherfuckers just going wild. <laughs> Shit, man. War of the Worlds, nigga. You see them UFOs? World War II, nigga. War of the Worlds for the come to this motherfucker, bro. Right now. Yeah. Bigger. Hey, niggas be like, that's the UFO coming. Nah, that's that remote control drone. They about to drop a bomb on the whole town coming. Hmm. UFO. You know how the <laughs> nigga said, UFO. Man, I seen a UFO. What the <laughs> <laughs> Hey right, man, what y'all boys finna do, man? What you boys got going on tonight? You grilling tonight, bro? Yeah, I'm grilling for these kids, man. You already know. You gotta keep them kind of get the grill on, man. I, man. I can't wait to break this fast. I'm about to eat up. I'm about to eat ten vegetable soup. Hmm. Bo. <laughs> that boy is sick. <laughs> <laughs> that ten vegetable soup, man. man. From Panera. From Panera. From Panera. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to. I like Panera little soup though. They yeah, little that's shit, shit right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I don't that's even, it. I'm gonna keep it a Google though. I only fuck with the chicken noodle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they should be all right. A little salty. Should be good. You know? What you got going yeah. on at home? Man, I'm gonna be just cooling, man. Not too much. Taking it easy, you know. Spending yeah. a little couple of hours I got with my daughter for the day. You know what I'm saying? Shit, let's get back to it. Solid. Tomorrow. Same time tomorrow. Same time tomorrow, fellas.